Hello, and welcome to a basic strength conditioning stretch workout. I put this one together, it's short, maybe 30 minutes or so, I haven't really timed it out, um, to give it to people that I've been talking to lately that want to start exercising and that are feeling intimidated when you uh, look at some of the conditioning classes that are out there or even some of the ones that I have on the channel and they want to work with weights, they don't know how to work with weights, they're not sure if their level is there yet, no, I can only do five minutes of your class, and la 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 la. Stop. Reset. Anybody can do this type of workout, these conditioning workouts, right? You're in control all the time of your movement. So just remember that, and also it's a video, so you can do a portion stop. You can rewind it, you can repeat that for a while, you can do more of it. I mean, there's no judgment, there's no reason to feel intimidated. You just have to start. So what you're gonna need for this workout for my friends that I've already talked to are dumbbells. So not just little, you know, oh, here they are, okay. In the gym, I used to call these like jewelry. Here's my jewelry, <laughs> it's my earrings or my charm. No, you're gonna do some kind of a strength training move. Unless you're in your 80s, okay, I understand that kind of thing. But if you're gonna do a strength training move to um, help your, your body get better and stronger and help your bones, right, help everything, you gotta have some weight to your resistance. So that doesn't mean you have to go right to the 15 pound and double it up and you know, and mm -mm. but you don't want to sit there and start with the little one as well, you know what I mean? You kind of have to have a selection and each muscle group has a different weight tolerance. You know, you can do some heavier ones here, but you're not gonna do the heavy ones here necessarily because you're gonna feel different strengths in different areas of your body. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just get warmed up right on my cold deck here. It's a cold deck, but I have the heater and you know, no matter what you do at home, you have to warm up first. You have to warm up first. So you could have gone for a nice long walk. Okay, I'm not doing anything particular, Nancy, to the music. I'm just doing this while I'm chatting with you. Go for a walk, and when you're doing your walk to warm up, it's like this, right? Not like this. How you doing? Yeah. Oh my God, I know. I'm so mad. That's not your warm up, okay? Just take those feet back a little bit. You want to bring your heart rate up, breathing faster, right? Put a mat down here, and I don't even know why, but I can stand on it. <laughs> I feel like Julie when I do that. <laughs> My friend over in the UK. You're marvelous, you are, you're marvelous. Give me some squats, down and up. So when you warm up, think big muscles first, right? This one, there's, right? Big muscles first. Don't do your pinky warm up until like later on. Hold it up, let's do some shorter rolls. When you're doing stuff with weights, if you feel pain or uncomfortableness, reverse direction, is that a word, uncomfortableness? You are to stop and evaluate and modify, okay? You can feel a little like, whoa, fatigue, 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 failure. That's okay. Keep moving your arms. Bring up your legs a little bit. But if you feel like, oh, what was that? That was pain. Uh-uh. You have to coach yourself, watch out on your own. Shake out your wrists a little bit. I promise to keep this short, so I have to just get right to it, right? Quit all that chit-chatting. Good, all right, so what I want you to do is go ahead and grab a weight that you would think would be not super heavy. It's on the lighter side. So hopefully it'll be something like these are, I can't read them, 10 pounds. Okay? So start bicepping with me, bicep curls. So when you're doing your weights here, I want your feet to be in a nice shock absorbing position, right? A nice easy position, little bend, never lock out your joints. When you do your bicep curls, blow out your air. When you bring the weight away from the ground, gravity pulls it down, blow out your air when you bring it up. It's not about speed. It's about form and control. You can stand like this, 
and you feel it in your low back or something, what's going on? You can stand wider, right? Don't make that face though. Oh, right here. Good, breathe. You can walk around a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is we're kind of pre-warming up the muscle group right in here, right where in our biceps. So we're working with a weight that's not our heaviest, and we're working with a pretty long duration. The duration is a length of time, right? So we're going and going and going. We're going and going and going. Not too long, because I, I promised a short workout, but we're going and going and going. So if you could do this with your weight, it's, it's, it's not heavy enough, right? So you should have to still be able to control that weight and your arms are gonna get more fatigued as we go. Good, do a couple more. And let's put that down. Shake your arms out to give them a little bit of a break, okay? Here's the biceps that we were working in this area in your arm. Got it? Doesn't that feel good? Smack those biceps. All right, now I want you to grab what you call the heaviest weight for you. Ooh. Ooh. Find them. Shorter duration. Here we go. So now we're not going to do this heavier one. Same muscle group, not as long. You can't control it. Breathe again, right here. Control, going up. Control, going down. We're gonna do 10 more. Sit, stand. I saw my little pandemic pooch. 
That just started in the low pin on the pandemic pooch. Sit and stand. Okay, good. Why do you say sit and stand? Otherwise, you'll be doing some other stuff. You know, I don't know. <laughs> sit down, stand up. Keep that head up. Good. Are your quads, four muscles in here in your thighs, are they getting fatigued, tired? I hope so. Hold down pulse a little bit. Are your arms getting a little bit of a break? Hope so. Take it down and up, down and up. Good, good, good. So we're just getting a little lower body before we go back to the upper body. Hold down pulse last time. You're good. Use those strong legs. Down and up. This is gonna go fast, guys. This whole workout is gonna go fast. Hold it up, shake it out. All right, grab those weights that you think, again, are on the lighter side of your arsenal selection of weights. You're gonna take those weights here. Line yourself up. So you see my alignment? Not down here, not in here, and go ahead, press up. So exhale when you press up. Exhale, inhale. Move your feet if you need. So that you keep the focus, keep the attention on your upper body. We're going for the duration. Longer time frame. Press. There is more scientific ways to do this, like a couple of my burns, those total body conditioning videos, have a heavy light sequencing with timed intervals. This is just kind of like flying by seat of pants, seat of aerobic pants. Let's do two more. Exhale. Good, put it down. So, I started feeling it because I was grabbing the weight that was appropriate for my body. So you should be feeling that at the end. Shake out. Now we're gonna go with that heavier one. The same overhead press, working in our shoulder area, right? But you're also feeling in the rest of your arms because they're a little on the tired side. Grab your heavier one. Stand how you need to. Shorter duration. Here we go, press up. So squeeze your belly in when you press up. Again. Press. 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 Oh, I just notice I'm doing a little crisscross thing at the top. You don't have to. <laughs> press, come on. Press. So I'm getting fatigued with my 15 pounds in each hand. Press. Some of you heavy duty people are like, that's nothing, woman! Two more. Up, one more. Up, up. good, good. Again, see how I'm reacting? You should be similar. Okay, don't do that. Shake out, breathe, drink, anytime you need to. Water, that means water. How do you feel? Back to the longer set duration, and we're gonna balance again so that we can keep our core involved in the workout. Lighter weights, feet together. Let's try this. Ready, go. Press, exhale. Good, good. Press, you need to move, you can move. If you need to check to see if there's somebody coming up your driveway, you can. Good, it's the garbage truck. That's fine. Press. Press. So my lighter weights are heavier than I intended them to be. So now you see me struggling, right? Press. Press. We're not even doing the balance because I'm struggling. Press. One more. Down. I get to make that call because I'm the instructor. <laughs> right foot up. But I did promise you some balance. So again, 
We're not wasting time with this. Let those arms rest a bit. Shoulders up and back. Balance. Bring that knee up so it's like a real thing that you're doing. Set the fake thing. Fake. Real. Good. Move it. When you start to move it, now all of a sudden your body goes, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the, hey? Don't fall on your ass. Tighten things up. Doing good. Remember, I always imagine, oh, you're, there you go, you're doing good. See, you can work out. You thought you couldn't, but you're doing it. Put it down. Let's go the other leg. So your left leg. And if you did the other one, who cares? Just do the other leg. There's only so many other legs. It's you know, not a lot of choices. Bring them up where it matters. Okay, go ahead, wave it. Wave it around. Keeping yourself healthy. So remember how the strength training works. See how this gonna sound gross? Sorry, it's the truth. Your muscle tears apart, little tiny tears, little teeny tears and then knits itself back together a little bit stronger. Think Jamie Summers. There I go, dating myself again. Think bionic woman. Or man, we majors. Bring it in, shake it out. Give me some squats. Down up, good. So we did here in biceps. We went overhead press for shoulders. So let's get the back of the arms now. A little bit of la 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 la. Tricep, do a couple more. Go ahead, grab your lighter weights. Duration. You can do the tricep a couple ways. Here's what we're gonna do. Pull your elbows back. Here it is sideways, see, back. Then you're gonna take it and extend it and bring it in. Extend it, bring it in. So I'm not moving my arms. Once my arms lock back, extend, bring it in. Extend. Hang out at the top, because that's the fun part. Here, right? Here. The second way you can do this, of course, is this way. It's a little harder to control when you're new at doing the, uh, the different movements, right? <clears throat> Remember I'm assuming? You're all spanking new. A bunch of neophytes. Go. And if my advanced friends snuck into this class, I told you, stay away. The advanced people scare people away in the gym, don't they? I think we're all a bunch of aliens, all a bunch of machines. Don't swing. Do a couple more, Sharon gets tired. Good, stop, put it down. Shake. Balance while you let that leg rest, or uh, your arms rest. Legs aren't resting, right? Balance, switch. You'd be surprised at how hard balance stuff is. Something like this that I take for granted is hard for lots of people. Good, stop, shake it out. Heavier weight. Shorter, okay? Pick your weight. Set your body up. Arms back. Go ahead. Extend. Back in. Extend. Exhale. Inhale. Focus on the out. So close, guys. You're doing good. Two, four more. Four, three, two, one. Put it down. Shake it out. You see where we are in my little mini class plan that's not even planned out at all. <gasps> we gotta keep going. Okay, here we go. The last one for duration. Go. I might have to just keep extending it for the heck of it. So this one's longer duration. Still locking those arms back there though, right? Extend and re -bend. You can do it at a different pace than I am. Do you feel it in your arms yet? And let's bring it down. Good, all right, how those arms 
arms feel. Do some squats with me. Good, come on back up. You're just gonna alternate a foot forward. So let me move sideways so that you can see that my knee is gonna track and stay over my shoe. Drop my hips straight down, straight down. Can you lower that knee almost to the ground? Maybe tap it. Ready? Push off your front foot. You have 25 more. Did someone throw soda on 
the ceiling? What is that? Keep pulsing. Little tiny crunches. Now pull that belly button straight down onto the mat. Little squeeze, right? Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it down. Bring those shoes up in the air. Shoes together, knees apart, and just crunch in. This is our last conditioning song. Then we're gonna be doing a stretch for like 45, 50 minutes. No kidding. Of course, I love that. That's called yoga class, stretch class, right? Plenty of that stuff also in the gyms, online. So don't shy away. Jump in. Jump in, the water's fine. Hold it here. This time what you're gonna do is pull your elbows in to meet your knees, or pull your knees in to meet your elbows. Lift your shoulders and your butt off the ground. Lift, bring it down. If you feel this is bothering your back, then go ahead and come back to this one. That's fine. Pay attention to how your body feels. Do a bunch more. I'm not gonna count, I'm not watching you, don't worry. How safe is that, right? I'm not watching you, don't worry. <laughs> Couple more, and shoes are down. Good, let's go ahead and crisscross your feet, extend those arms, interlace your fingers, cradle your head, and pulse. Look up. So you're stretching that long, squeezing. You're not gonna cry. Couple more. Bring it down, knees come in. Shake things out a little bit. Come on up. Turn all the way around on all fours. Your palms right underneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Head neutral, here's neutral, here's not neutral, here's not neutral, plank. Hold. Not gonna cry, 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 cry. Not gonna cry, cry, cry. I'm not gonna cry, cry, cry. You alright? You're good, hold! Maybe you're here. Good, come on back up on that plank if you were down on your knees with me for no reason. Stay here. Bend the knees, come on down. Sit back, come on up. Move your body, your spine, arch and release. Very good. Shake it out a little bit, face me in the front. Hello. Right arm. Left arm. So I'm not a yoga instructor, just pretend to be at times. And I miss that because I'm a yoga student. I go and take the yoga classes at the gym. I miss it. I miss it. I miss those days of teaching my kickboxing and then going in and laying on like a lump on the mat and having those wonderful instructors come over and go, look at you. You need so much help. And I go, I... <laughs> right hand. But I appreciate, oh my God, what stretching what it means to your body, what it does for it, what it does for your mind. Other side, so many times people say, I can't do yoga because I can't stay focused. <laughs> and I say, yeah, that's why you have to do yoga. It's learned. Chin down. It's like people who meditate, it's you got to learn how to do it. Don't judge yourself. Okay, look up, shake it out, stand. We're gonna stretch, okay? Wait, answer it. We're gonna stretch, okay? Come to, let's go the back of your mat. Now, listen, what am I saying? Front of the mat. See, this is why I'm not a yoga instructor. You're gonna inhale your arms up. Inhale all the way up. And then you're gonna exhale, dive with your chest. Dive, 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 dive. Bend your hands and your knees and just, hey. Roll all the way up slow. 
Head and shoulders come up last. Inhale, turn your palms out, bring your palms up. Exhale, turn your palms away. Dive, 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 dive. bend. Why am I saying bend? Because lots of people can't dive with those straight legs. Roll up. So if you can keep your legs straight, go for it. Palms turn out, inhale. Palms turn away, exhale, dive. So here's where my hands honestly fall, because I'm still not even yoga warm. So I go ahead and bend a little, it's just so I can hang freely. This time, place your palms on your mat and step back one foot at a time into that beautiful plank and lower slowly onto the mat. Slow. How come you beat me? Put the tops of your feet on the mat. It's harder with shoes, I know. Peel up your body. Bring your body back down. Tuck your toes back in and bring your body up and just pedal your shoes one at a time. Pedal. Pedal. Step both feet in one at a time. Back to your hands. Fold here. Just dangle. If you can straighten those legs, great. If your hamstrings are still tight like mine, don't worry. It is what it is. Roll it all the way up slow. Turning those palms out now. Inhale, look up. Turn the palms out. Exhale. Dive. Dive, 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 dive. Hands down. Look up and inhale. Flatten that back and reach with your head straight to the wall. Relax. Back down. Hands on the mat. Step back with your feet. And go ahead and hold your plank. Head neutral. Lower to the ground. Tops of feet on ground. Peel your chest up. Bring it back down, toes in the ground, lift up and back. And this time, after you settle those feet, try to move those heels closer to the ground. Straighten your legs, straighten your back, straighten your arms, look toward your thighs and your belly. Breathe. Bend the knees. Inhale, step those feet closer to your hands. I took baby steps in so you would feel comfortable taking baby steps in. Relax here. Slowly roll up. Turn those palms out. Inhale. Exhale, palms out. Fold. Inhale, straight, straighten out that back, head toward the wall. Exhale and fold again. Feet go back. Hold your plank. Slowly lower to the mat. Tops of shoes down. Press your chest up. Exhale, bring that chest down. Toes in the ground. This time, right into that downward facing dog. And hold it here for three breaths. Bend the knees. Step a right foot forward to your hands. Leave the left one back. Hang here. If you have to do this, do it, right? With the knee down. You can stay up and stay up. So I've moved my hands to like little tents, like a little tent on the ground. Let that leg just stretch out there for a sec. Breathe. Now bend that leg and walk to the other side. and drop down. Little tent fingers. Little tent fingers. Bend that back leg again. Walk back to your original side. Turn your feet. This time go ahead and drop that back knee. Bring your hands up onto that bent leg. Let those hips fold forward a little more. And let's inhale those arms up. Look up.
Bring those hands back down. Lift up that back leg. Walk up to the other leg. Hold it here. Bend the knee, put it down. Hands are on that thigh, the bent leg, and let the hips drop forward a little. Inhale those arms up. Reach, look up, straight. Hands down. Lift that back leg. This time, come to the center. So feet are wide. Palms are down. Hang here for a second. What are you feeling? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling relaxed? Are you feeling uncertain? Are you feeling nothing at all? <laughs> See if you can relax your back muscles and let that head come closer to the ground. Your body is what it is, guys. We we're, we're all born with something great and wonderful and special, but different from each other. Some people have such beautiful organic movement. Some people have such beautiful strength. It doesn't matter whatever you have. You just work with it so that you feel good, that you're your healthiest. And anything can change, right? Bend your knees. Bring your head neutral, move your hands. Walk your feet little by little, little by little, little by little. In. Hands are on your legs. Your shoes are under your hips. So it's a good thing I have my knee on sneakers because when I say hip distance, sometimes people do this. I'm hip distance. I'm like, uh-uh, you're not having it, I'm not having it. Here's my hips. Hip, hip distance. Hip distance, it's always a little more narrower than you think. Move your spine, arch and release, arch, release, cat, meow, wow, like my old lady cat, cow. Arch and release. Good, hold it here, neutral. Shoes together, la, 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 la. Okay, they lined up. hands in a prayer. Take that right elbow, hook it on the side of that leg, bring those prayer hands right between your boobs <gasps> on your chest. Twist. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, twist a little further. Come back center. I'm gonna twist the other side. So hook it, inhale it, settle in, move those prayer hands by your chest. Inhale. Can you exhale and twist a little further? backs of the legs. So straighten up those legs as best you can. Straighten them. They shake, it's okay. Bend them. Straighten them up again. Straighten them. Bend your knees. Straighten them up one last time. Reach up with those fingers, 
Tilt to the right. Straight arms. Coming back up. Reach up further. Tilt to the left. Excellent day. Have a good day. 